Hi, I'm Anfa. Welcome to this new development update on Liblast. Liblast is a free and open source multiplayer FPS game developed with Godot 4 and a fully open source toolchain. Um, I want to show you around quickly some features of the game that have been added since, well, since the last update, I guess. Um, there has been a lot of new stuff. This is one of the things covered in the um, change log for or version 0.1.3 pre-alpha and 0.1.4 pre-alpha is already published and 0.1.5 is coming soon because of more fixes and improvements. So what I'm gonna do is limit my FPS, render FPS max, let's go with 60, that's the frame rate I'm recording at, and let's start a new game. So one thing you'll notice, let me turn this, the whole thing down. One thing you'll notice is that there is no off menu when you open the game. And that is because it doesn't work at this moment. So it, it's skipped by default. You can enable it again if you go and type in off and nay and, and bled. Yeah, that's a typo. I need to fix that. If you go off and bled true, the off menu will appear when you restart the game. Another thing to, of note is that we have the game menu has been overhauled a bit to make it clear what's going on. Mm, there is a drop down with common server addresses. For example, the public server that is running right now at onfather.xyz, or you can specify a custom one, then this becomes disabled. Nothing new in user profile. Just the same stuff as before. You can randomize your... You can randomize your stuff. Now, we have preferences. That was not present before. In preferences, you can change the visual detail with a very basic set of presets. Default is medium which is pretty sensible, but doesn't use... Um, no, I think it's the, the setting that uses SDFGI in a quite low low fidelity. Uh, but high is the first one that I think uses screen space reflections as well. And there's go higher and higher. Extreme is pretty, pretty pointless. It's gonna look marginally better than the other ones and it's gonna chew your graphics cards because God of War is poorly optimized. Very poorly optimized. The screen space effects are terribly, terribly expensive. But for an apparently no good reason, but well, it just needs optimization. You have audio level control, so you can change the volume of different things. So let me change sound effects and music, but keep the UI sounds loud. Okay, we can either join a remote server. I'm gonna crush you. And the skybox is broken because of the preset we chose. Let me see if that changes if I switch to medium. No. Oh, but the, yeah, they're during breaks. Well, maybe let's go back to medium then. No screen space reflection for us. You can see that there's a new sound for handgun. It's quite a bit more powerful. Something broke with it. Lol. We do this. And there's a new gun. An SMG. Which is good at mid-range. Not good at quite close range. Not that good at close range. I mean, it can be very good if you have awesome aim, but it's best at medium range, I think, because at that range you are able to like track your enemies pretty well and do decent damage because the spread is quite large, as you can see. The pistol can kill in four shots. Um, the, the SMG has to hit your enemy ten times, which is a lot. But with this fire rate, it's quite doable, but, you know, it wouldn't be quite OP if it was 
much higher damage. Other things we have is obviously bullet tracers, which makes shooting a bit more satisfying now. There's also bullet flyby sounds. Um, we go back and host our own game. Let's go with Matt D, where because there's bots there. You can't hide. You can also see there is an indication shown what team am I on. I'm on Lime before, I believe. Quite weird when the skybox is broken. I don't know why, but yeah, that change that happens when you change the environment settings sometimes. It should be good when you restart the game. And because the settings are stored, that should be all good. And you can also do it from the game itself. You could just type restart. And it's gonna close the game and open it again. Oh, that's my teammate. What? Okay, ah, okay, the outline. Yep. Yeah, of course the weapon balance of, and everything is pretty much placeholder. I'm just you know, testing different things, having fun, seeing what works. It turns out that the, the mm, handgun sound on me previously works best better for the SMG. As you can see on like high distance you can you gotcha. can it's hard to hit anything like you can be shooting and <laughs> you can be missing pretty much all the time by the way i'm almost dead one pistol hit i'm dead it's really nice for finishing people up because uh, you don't need to aim that well but just, you know, kill people from the ground up, it's pretty... takes long, quite some time. It's easier with the handgun, but it requires twitch aiming. Which, of course, is a bit more skill. Another feature you might notice is there's now directional damage markers, so if you get hit... Come on, shoot me. Anybody. Yeah, you can see now we have a damage compass showing us where the damage came from, so that we can have a better idea where should we turn to, to defend ourselves or escape. Oh, I'm empty again. And you can also see that there's a little bit of... ...smoke trail from the... ...jetpack. The SMG has an insane amount of bullets and clip. Like 180, I think. Can, you have to reload pretty... Well, not very often, but... Once you do... You realize it's a problem. So that's like the ma major changes. There's tons of different things that are improved and overhauled in the game. Uh, you can read all about it in the change log, especially for version 0.1.3 free alpha. The change log is absolutely massive, but it does cover 
pretty much all the changes that happens happened in the past two months of development. Pretty much since Godot 4 reached the first beta release. That has, you know, been a nice catalyst because things were became a bit more stable. I find the SMG pretty fun to, to shoot. Mm. I hope to be able to um, round this up a little bit and provide an actual team deathmatch experience by the end of the year. And I hope to organize some playtesting sessions, some public playtesting sessions, so we could have give this a real go with real people. I guess something to do would also be to provide, allow bots to like be, behave as actual players so that you can play mm, online with bots so that, you know, you're not alone there but someone can join you and then... Oh, shit. If they get close to you, they can, they can take you down pretty quickly. SMG is no good at long range. Can barely hit anything with. The audio mixing uh, needs some work, definitely, because I got some compression and limiting going on, but it seems that the sounds are just too loud and they... This results in a lot of compression. So I'll, I'll have to back that off a little bit. I guess an another thing to try would be to add a shotgun when it comes to hit scan weapons. And yeah, this way the, the weapon system is slowly expanding to facilitate more different. Whoa! Empty. It was a fun bug that I fixed already, but you could basically press fire, switch your weapon, and your SMG would still keep shooting until it emptied the clip, which is huge. So you would have like, I don't know, a good 10 seconds of fire, and you could still shoot your pistol. <laughs> so that was a really interesting exploit I discovered totally by accident, and I thought like, no, that has to be fixed. <laughs> that would be very bad. Yeah, shotgun would be quite nice for this. Also, I want to make some of the bots use the SMG because that would make it way more interesting to fight them. Probably DI might require some adjustment because they basically just pull the trigger and never release it because the handgun, you know, the handgun just reacts to pulling the trigger. And, but the SMG reacts to... Whoa, what's that? Like an invisible collider. 
Yeah, there's an invisible collision in here. <laughs> Reload all gun. Whoa. Am I just going down? Whoa! Okay, I think that's that's enough for a while. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting. Um, if you'd like to, if you'd like to check out the game, you can go to libla.st. You can also click a link here. I mean, and. Um, yeah, you can check out all the things, download the latest build, which doesn't conclude all of these editions yet. So that will have to wait for release 0.1.5 pre-alpha. Which I hope to be doing quite quickly. Pretty fast, pretty soon. Stay up for that. That's all for now. Bye.